in truth. If we are rooted in truth, there, therefore, the fruit of the Spirit should be evident in our lives. And I discussed last week that a lot of times when you're talking about truth, and, and see, truth agitates sin. When you, when, you, when you come to the knowledge of truth, you get away from sin that destroys our lives. Now, be mindful that sin is anything that is against God. Sin is the trans, uh, transgression of the law or the word of God. So when we're transgressing the word, if God says, I want you to go speak to Juan and encourage him with this word of prophecy, so to say. And we don't do that. Guess what we're in? We're in sin. Why? Because God gave instructions and I didn't go carry that instruction out. So I just gave that example because when we think of sin, we only think of the bad ones. We only think of uh, things that is visible. But there's a lot of invisible sin that we deal with. Doubt and unbelief. Unbelief is a result of a evil heart. He says you have an evil heart of unbelief. And, and when, when, when your roots go so deep in doubt and unbelief, mm -hmm. it's hard to get the word of truth to us because we're so rooted in unbelief. I'm, 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 I'm always mindful because I'm, 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 I could only use my experiences and understanding. But you, 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 you ever had a person, I ain't speaking to nobody in particular, but you ever been around a person or have a person, everything you say, they come up with a negative thing to say about it? Mm -hmm. Oh, today's going to be a beautiful day. They say it's going to rain this evening. <laughs> I mean, can I just let me enjoy the beautiful day while it is. Why, why is that? Why do we do that? I find myself at times doing that when I when I feel like uh, 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 I can't see where God is bringing me to. So because I can't see where God is bringing me to, I'm being double-minded in doubt. And because I'm doubting what I know God showed me. And when I doubt what I know God showed me, I find myself, when, 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 when God's going to do it for you, I can see, I can see where God's bringing you to. Oh, uh, he ain't going to do it for me. Why? Because now I'm, I'm, I'm settled in that doubt because I'm not gravitating to my root that I am in truth. So look at Matthew. Let's start our journey here from Matthew, the 15th chapter, verse 13 and 14. This is where this uh, message derived from. But he said, but he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father had not planted shall be every plant which my heavenly father had not planted shall be rooted up. To give us context of this scripture passage, he's, he's in a, 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 a discourse with his disciples and with the Pharisees. He's trying to get the Pharisees to understand who he is, but we know it was the Pharisees that brought him to the cross. It was the Pharisees and in their blindness that, that brought them to the place of uh, hanging Jesus on the cross. It was in the sinners. It was the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the chief priests of the time because they were more interested in the things of man than they were in the things of God. And when you want to take away from man what God said we can't have, you'll find yourself being crucified on a cross because I'd rather kill the truth than live in the truth. So what we have going on today is a lot of people who are stumping on the truth, who are burying the truth, because I don't want that tree to grow. If the tree of truth grow, I gotta lay aside some ways that have easily beset me. If the tree of truth grow, I have to put away some childish things. If the tree of truth grow, I have to lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily beset 
me and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. I don't have patience for truth. <laughs> I want what I want and I want what I want now. And if it ain't uh, God, God said if you wait on the Lord, we say, God, I can't wait. I need to have it now. So sometimes we'll jump in situations that we pull fruit from through a root that God says I'm trying to pull up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So if we're if we're uh, sometimes we're planting what God wants us to pull up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're pulling up what God wants us to plant. Sometimes, not all the time, just sometimes. Sometimes God wants us to plant patience. But we pull up the patience waiting on him and we plan, I need it now. So by planning, I need it now, I find myself getting something that I thought I wanted, but then I find out down the line that that thing wasn't good for me because it hadn't been good to me. But God says if you wait just a little more second and plant what I said to plant, when it comes up, it's going to be beneficial to you and it's going to be beneficial for you. And it's not going to destroy you or hinder you, but it's going to bless you. So if God says I planted the curse and I went to the grave with the curse, but I came up with righteousness, you stop planting what I killed. You stop planting what I buried. I came up with the keys of death, hell, in the grave and you're trying to snatch the keys out of my hand and go back Death has passed by those who have accepted him as their savior. It was truth that died on that cross. It was truth that buried in that ground. And it was truth that got up on the third day. The devil couldn't bury truth and keep truth in the ground too long. So I say that to say this. They might be burying truth right now. They might have the, 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 the top saw over truth right now. They might some manure on the truth right now. But I guarantee you in these months and years to come, the truth is about to rise up like it never rose back before. Because he needs you to see a lie on every corner. And when you see the lie, you're going to know the truth. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I got to see. I told y'all I'm going to get excited. Uh, verse four. So I want to deal with this question today. Very simple. From what Pilate converse with Jesus when Jesus goes into the, the chambers to be judged by Pilate he, he's telling Pilate um, the Jews have said that Jesus is a king Pilate is asking Jesus Jesus you the king that they said that you are Jesus said are you asking me or is it them asking me Pilate said, I, it don't matter to me. I ain't no Jew, so I, I don't know nothing what y'all talking about. I'm just trying to execute judgment. And then Pilate said, so, well, what is truth? You telling me one thing, they telling me another thing. What is truth? So that is my question today. What is truth? It's hard today to find, figure out what's true and what's not true. The, the, the I mean, the only way truth can, I say the only way, one of the ways that truth can be realized is through time. Someone can sell you a bill of goods, but let some time pass. <laughs> and as time passes, you're going to see the truth in the goods that they were selling. So we find ourselves at this question that Jesus begins to deal with with Pilate. So as we go to John the 18th chapter in verse 36, we're going to see this discourse with Pilate and Jesus into action. Jesus answers Pilate, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from his. Verse 37. Pilate therefore said unto him, Are you the king then? Jesus answered, Thou said that I am a king. To this end was I born. Why was Jesus born? To be king. 
And for this cause came I into the world that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth, hear my voice. Why do we have so much of living according to the lie today? It's because we are not hearing the truth. Because the truth heard causes me to go away from the lie I want to live. <laughs> the, when, when I hear the truth, it causes me to go away from the lie that has been presented to me. When I came across the kingdom, the kingdom told me Christ is in you, the hope of glory. The kingdom told me I translated you out of darkness into my marvelous light. The kingdom told me that I have a risen Savior, and this is the one that jack, jacked me up, y'all. When I read that I'm seated with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. When I read Colossians 3 and 1, and it says, Let, uh, 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 Set your mind on things above where Christ is, where you are now seated with him. So, this, this, uh, uh, this little Boothville boy here who already can't keep still realize something. I don't live in Boothville, I live in heaven. I don't live in heaven, I live in heaven. I don't live in Amid, I live in heaven. I don't live in Baton Rouge, I live in heaven. And I live first in heaven, but my body is seated in Baton Rouge. My spirit man is seated in heavenly places. So even as the song made mention, and we often make mention, when I get to heaven, oh glorious time, when I get to that great by and by, I spread this so many times with my grandfather. I'm going where every day will be Sunday. Saturday, Sabbath day, we'll have no end. Every day, howdy, howdy. Never, never. Good night. Good night. If you never hear me preach again, me Meet me. Meet me. Well, Papa, let me tell you something. I don't have to meet you when I get there. I can meet you right now. Because heaven is in earth and heaven is in me. You don't have to wait to get to what God said has come to you. Because the kingdom of God is the kingdom of God is the truth. The kingdom of God is the way. The kingdom of God is the life. The kingdom of God is ran by the king of God who said, this is the reason why I was sent. So therefore, if the king was sent to give me the kingdom and the king is on the inside of me and the king is truth, that makes truth where? The reason why we have such a struggle is because truth is living with the lie. And God said, don't pull them up just yet. <sighs> but he's given us opportunity to pull up what he didn't plan. And if he didn't plan it, he said, it has to go. So, we have to root up blindness. See, see, I, I, I went to the I know you're enjoying the message, son, but I need you to go to my slide. <laughs> y'all in the back there. I think y'all think you're paying attention on the street. Yeah. I went to the behind eye clinic because I was having issues seeing up close with these screens because I'm always in front of a screen. And, and I, I, I went and I didn't fully understand what he was saying. I guess he's just trying to sell me some glasses, but they do work because when I put them on and stuff, they ain't blurry no more. When I take them off, they wasn't blurry. But what he messed me up was, he said, nothing wrong with your sight. Your sight is good. It's whatever the stigma is, the stigmatism or whatever that is, that's, that's, these glasses are correct. I said, so you mean you're giving me glasses and I'm not correcting my sight? I'm just correcting. <clears throat> I could see it, but the glasses make it clearer. I, I, I don't have trouble seeing it afar off. But when I put the glasses on, it, 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 it's, it's clear. Then the glasses have a way, I forgot what they call it, but if, if I look down, 
Or if I look to the side that way or that way, it get blurry again. If I look down at this paper, up here it's blurry. When I do that, it looks clear. They've adjusted the lens for me to be able to see at what I'm looking at through that portion of the lens. So, use that example to say this. As religion, we become blinded because we took the lens of the gospel off and put on Pentecostal lens. So now I could only, everything else is that's not Pentecostal is blurry. But when I'm looking through the Pentecost, the day of Pentecost has fully come and they were all on one accord in the upper room and, and, and it filled the house and the spirit fell on them and, and then that's all we want to do is go up. Now, that's the gospel, right? And then now I'm coming out where I put the Baptist lens on and you got to be baptized and trying to baptize them and, the, and then we fight over is, is the name of the Father, Son, and the Spirit. You baptize them in Jesus' name. and you The water wasn't warm enough. The, the, you baptize them in cold water. It was supposed to be hot water. No, the, you're supposed to put a little dishwashing liquid in the water to clean them up. Or you, you're supposed to do and all of these things that we generate that's man's way of doing things because man always put the truth down to pick up their lens and there's a way that seems right unto a man but that way is always ended in destruction when God is trying to show us the truth but we are blinded by roots that have been planted for years and where I'm coming at the place of not being harsh or hard because those roots of death are there but taking the time to help us unroot some things that have been planted for years. And we won't come out of traditions. We won't come out of cultures. We won't come out of neighborhoods. We won't come out of families because that's what I've always known. That's where I've always been. That's the only truth that I know. But what if that truth is a lie? I, I, we, we often have this discussion, and I say it often, when, when Katrina came and destroyed everything, what we would call as Boothville our home. That's our hometown where we were born, where we were raised, and Katrina came and took all of that away. But guess what Katrina didn't take? Me. Guess what Katrina didn't take? You. Guess what Katrina did him? So God was able to uproot. Yeah. And regroup. Yeah. <laughs> so some people who didn't have a pot to pee in are willing to throw it out. Some people who lived in trailers all of their lives are now living in three story, two story, one story, three bedroom, four bedroom, five bedroom. Some of them lived a whole year to two years rent free in a house that didn't have roaches in it. They never had not had a roach in their life. Didn't have Jesus Christ. And you trying to go back home to what? Now, now, it's, it's, y'all, it's still home, I get it. But a lot of times, we're running to lack when God is trying to show us there is abundant life waiting for you. But what happens when he has to uproot us to get to that? We're living. Some of us ain't changing our mind. If God, Jesus could come right in the front of us and you would say, look at my hand, look at my, Jesus, I ain't worried about all that. When he, I see your hands and I see your feet, but I'll see you in heaven. I ain't changing that today. Come on, say stuck in my ways. We all are. I'm stubborn. I'm, I'm stuck in so just <laughs> Y'all say something that I'm putting on y'all out of the church. <laughs> Stuck in our ways. Why? Because it's the way that seems right sometimes. Or it could be the right way. If it's the right way, don't get off of what you know God said. Don't get off of what you know to do. Why well, I know you deal with this on a daily day on a daily basis. Just just nod your head if I'm if I'm in alignment. You, you know, pull the man over. You know, found the stuff, 
And what was the first words out of his mouth? That ain't for me. <laughs> that ain't for her. Mm -hmm. Or, 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 or they, they were flying on the highway, and you put the, uh, uh, just, you, I wasn't speeding. My, 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 my speed, I'm going to go. Well, is that on me? That is, uh, we, we, we. <sighs> It's so, it's so much to deal with with this topic right now. We're, when we're blinded from the truth, we don't know the truth is available to us to live by. So, look, when we're talking about truth, what do we say when we go to the courthouse? You bring it before the judge. They got the nerve to give a liar a Bible. <laughs> yeah, okay. And put your hand on the Bible. You, it's these people. You, you just ain't got no fear of God, do you? You mean to tell me you're going to put your hand on the Bible and say, I swear <laughs> to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Were you speaking? I, that wasn't me. <laughs> Sir, you just said, now you don't Sometimes, what is wrong with y'all? Because no matter what, I, I got a, <laughs> I, I got one or two that's gonna they going down with their lie. Matter of fact, <laughs> just this morning, <laughs> who did it? <laughs> now, now, when somebody asks who did it, and the person that did it, y'all watch their neck. Cause they're usually the first person to turn to somebody and say, that wasn't me. <laughs> watch, watch, watch the direction that they turn. Because psychology will tell you, if they turn right, they may be seeing who might have done it. But if they turn left, they're a liar. <laughs> Yeah, 
the fire started right there. Right there. They didn't even realize that I'm telling them what I didn't know where the fire started. I think I was smarter than the fire people. I, 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 I learned this in, 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 in grade school. They tell you how fire started. Oh, yeah, well, you learned a lot in school. You just don't know, sir. <laughs> And then here I hear my mom, my mom say, uh, it, it was an electrical fire. Y'all know what I say? That's what I did. It was electrical. For, for about 38, 40 some years, I told everybody it was an electrical fire. Tell one day when the white tailor got a little too drunk and go to confess and everything, y'all guess what? It was me that burned the house down. <laughs> Nobody told me to keep it a secret. Nobody told me to lie about it. Nobody. Who told me that? It came with the package. We will have a, a, a man in a few days and full of trouble, right? What Job said, right? <laughs> you, you don't, you don't, look. You, why we have to discipline, why we are disciples, because but you say, I thought as a child, I spoke as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. There should be a growth process that grows us from the lie into the truth. But there's an enemy that keeps us blinded. Uh, we got four minutes. Let's go to it right quick. Uh, John the 8th chapter, verse 44. The enemy's job, Satan, that devil, that serpent. So when, 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 when we come through the womb doing those things, we are showing who the father is. Father just means the beginning source of a thing. So when we're talking about truth, the only way to know the truth is to go to the soul. Light. God, the father, who is full of truth, mercy, and truth. He, he, he's full of, the, the scripture says God cannot lie. The reason he cannot lie is because it's against his nature. So you don't have to teach God to tell the truth because he is true. You would have to teach him to lie and you can't teach him to lie because that quality is not in him. So he says when you're tempted, don't say you're tempted with evil because I can't tell you with evil even if I wanted to because there is evil in my nature. So because we are of Adam, our nature is corrupt because Adam corrupted so they come out the womb. Soon as the doctor slapped them on the behind, he activated their lying self. He they lied from birth. Pat, when you cut the umbilical cord, they hit on this lie right there. You so, it, <laughs> you, you, it's, it's amazing that you don't have to teach evil. But we got to teach, train up a child in the way they should go. And when they were old or old, they will not depart from it. What is he telling us? Train up the child in truth. So when they're old, they're going to come back to truth. If, if, if they're rooted in darkness, at some point they're going to come to the light. But Look what he says here to this serpent, the devil. He says in verse 44 of John, the eighth chapter, Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. Stop trying to tell the world to be truthful. They can't. Because the truth is not in them. Because their father has no truth. And if their father has no truth, y'all, I, I love saying this one every time I get to it, I like saying it. Y'all know what I'm about to say. God and the devil went on Mari. Right? <laughs> And the child come up, and y'all know more, more messy. <laughs> we got the test. We got the test. We going to see today who is the father of this child. And the devil up there like, I know it's mine, but I ain't about to say it because there ain't no truth in me. So why am I going to sit here and tell the truth tomorrow and kill his ratings on his show? I'm going to shut my mouth and God just sitting there, uh, you, you going to know the 
truth. <laughs> and the truth is going to make you free. So he, the, the God ain't sitting here scared because the truth going to come out. Y'all ever been in the room with a liar? And, and the truth about to come out? They did a lie all this time? They, 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 just use your kids. Just use your kids. They're all in the kitchen at the same time. And the truth about to come out. They sweat. It's, it's, it's 65 degrees in the house. What did you sweat? I ain't even seen nothing yet. I just, all I did was took the belt off my belt loop. And you already see you're sweating because you're lying. The lie that got you sweating. They got you. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, you're lying back there. I see you lying. You lying. You lying. <laughs> It's, 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 it's not it's sitting in there and, and here come Mari, pull out the paper. Uh, as, as it pertains to this child right here, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that we'll be back for a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought the TV could do that. I got, I got some production skills. I got to do it. Wait. <laughs> come back on. And, 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 and they got to go back through the segment. And he said that uh, as, as it pertains to God being the Father, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that you are not the Father. <laughs> now look, we go crazy. Now, it just, we the child, we go crazy because we thought God was our offer. We've been claiming God all this time, but giving fruit to the devil. We, we've been claiming that God's been the Father, but we, we are, we, we, we've been going the way of the Father who has no truth in him. He speaks of his own, for he is a liar and the Father of lies. So we're going to end this message and pick it up next Sunday. Let's end on this.